Hello everyone. Welcome to a module on the renal system. In this module, we will talk about the renal clearance and measurement of the glomerular filtration rate. This is a very important topic in the renal physiology and is highly tested in the exams. Let us first start with the renal clearance. Okay. So what is basically renal clearance? Renal clearance is defined as the volume of the plasma. It is defined as the volume of the plasma from which the substance is completely cleared or filtrated in the urine per unit time. Okay. So it is the volume of the plasma in which the substance is completely cleared in the urine per unit time. Is it clear? So the creatinine clearance can be equal to the urine flow rate when the concentration of the X of the substance which is supposed to be cleared in the urine is equal to the concentration of the substance in the plasma. I'll just explain it briefly. Now we all know that the creatine clearance or any clearance for example, let's say for a substance X, Cx is equal to the volume of the urine into the concentration of the substance in the urine upon the concentration of the substance in the plasma. Is it clear? Now since we say that it is equal to the volume when the concentration of the urine is equal to the concentration of the plasma of the substance X. Is it clear? So when the concentration of substance X in the urine is equal to the concentration of the substance in the plasma, then we say that the creatine clearance or the any clearance is equal to the volume. Am I clear? Now let us just talk more about the clearance of a substance. If the creatine clearance or clearance of any substance, let's say X or inulin or glucose, if any clearance of a substance is less than the glomerular filtration rate, then there is net tubular reabsorption. Now, what does that mean? If the substance has a decreased concentration in the urine and has a higher concentration in the plasma, that means the substance is flowing in the plasma and then when well formation of urine, the concentration decreases, correct? The, since the concentration decreases, it might be reabsorbed. That means a lot of substance X might be reabsorbed by the nephron and hence the clearance of the substance X decreases. So when there is reabsorption, the concentration in the urine is less whereas the concentration in the plasma is more and the clearance decreases. Is it clear? Now let us talk about the secretion part. When the clearance of a substance is high, that means the concentration in the plasma is less, okay, but the concentration in the urine is more. Now, how does that happen? When the, sub the fluid flows through the nephron, a lot of substances are secreted in the urine, correct? And hence the concentration increases. Hence, the clearance can be greater than the glomerular filtration rate and that can be due to tubular secretion. Am I clear? Now let's talk about the last scenario in which there is equality or the urine concentration and the plasma concentration of substance X is equal. Now what will happen if this, these two are equal? They might get cancelled and hence the clearance is equal to the glomerular filtration rate. Is it clear? So this is very important. This concept is highly used in calculation or measurement of glomerular filtration rate. So I'll again repeat, if the clearance of a substance X is equal to the volume when the concentration of the substance in the urine is equal to the concentration of the substance in the plasma, okay, it can be equal to the volume of the urine. That means the substance is neither reabsorbed nor secreted by the nephron and hence it is equal to the glomerular filtration rate. Is it clear? Now even if these two are not same but the substance is neither reabsorbed nor is correct, secreted, it will be equal to the glomerular filtration rate. Am I clear? Now let us talk about the glomerular filtration rate. 
ओके द ग्लोमेरुलर फिल्ट्रेशन रेट इज बेसिकली मेजर बाई टू सब्सटेंसेज द फर्स्ट वन इज द इन्यूलिन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज क्रियाटनिन ओके लेट मी जस्ट टॉक अबाउट इन्यूलिन फर्स्ट वाई इज इन्यूलिन यूज टू मेजर द ग्लोमेरुलर फिल्ट्रेशन रेट बिकॉज इन्यूलिन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज फ्रीली फिल्टर्ड दैट मीन्स इट इज नीदर री अब्जॉर्ब बाय द नेफ्रॉन नॉर इट इज सिक्रीटेड एंड हैंस द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज कॉन्स्टेंट थ्रू आउट नाउ हाउ इज इट कैलकुलेटेड द सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यूज ऑफ इन्यूलिन दैट मीन्स द क्लियरेंस ऑफ इन्यूलिन इज इक्वल टू द जी एफ आर सेंस इट इज नीदर री अब्जॉर्ब नॉर सिक्रीटेड करेक्ट एंड इट इज कैलकुलेटेड बाय द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द यूरिन produced into the concentration of inulin in the urine upon the concentration of inulin in the plasma this is a very important formula okay it is also given away here i'll come to the second equation in a while but just remember the first equation which is practically used correct now let us talk about the second substance that is the creatinine okay What is creatinine? Creatinine is a substance produced from creatine. Creatinine is produced by creatine, and creatine is produced by muscle breakdown. So when there is muscle breakdown, it can lead to formation of creatine, which further leads to formation of creatinine. Is it clear? The creatinine clearance is an approximate measure of the glomerular filtration rate. Now why is that? Creatinine is not secrete not absorbed but it is moderately secreted by the renal tubules is it clear so the creatinine clearance is approximately equal to the glomerular filtration rate but can slightly overestimate or show a higher value than the actual gfr now why is that because since a small amount of creatinine is secreted by the renal tubules of the nephron it can show a higher clearance value and hence can slightly overestimate gfr is it clear now let me just talk about the normal gfr value and the graph which is given here between the plasma creatinine and the glomerular filtration rate always remember that the normal gfr is between 100 to 125 ml per minute is it clear Now we can look at this graph and determine that the plasma creatinine value doesn't change much. You can look at this. The plasma creatinine value doesn't change much even if there is a big decrease in the glomerular filtration rate. Okay? So if there is a decrease in the plasma creatinine that means if there is a decrease in the plasma if there is a increase in the plasma creatinine and there is a decrease in the glomerular filtration rate it is decided by the concentration of plasma creatinine i'll just reframe everything for you all first of all remember that the glomerular filtration rate doesn't change much okay now if it decreases in cases of acute kidney injury in cases of chronic kidney injury and various renal pathologies where the glomerular filtration rate decreases okay in a certain limit that is approximately till 50 the plasma creatinine value is constant okay but when there is a increase in the plasma creatinine value when there is a increase increase in the plasma creatinine value even a slight increase that means even from 2 to 2.5 or 3 will determine a large change in the glomerular filtration rate is it clear so plasma creatinine is a very big tool or a marker for the glomerular filtration rate is it clear now let me just talk about the filtration pressure and come to that equation okay so this is the bowman space and this is the glomerular capillaries okay both of the places have different kinds of pressure the fluid in the bowman space has two kinds of pressure that is the hydrostatic pressure and the plasma oncotic pressure that is the hydrostatic pressure and the plasma oncotic pressure and similarly in the glomerular capillaries there is plasma oncotic pressure and the hydrostatic pressure of the glomerular capillaries now the plasma hydrostatic pressure or the hydrostatic pressure of the bowman space 
or the glomerular capillaries pushes the fluids away from them that means if there is a fluid present in bowman space then the plasma hydrostatic pressure will push it away towards the glomerular capillaries and if there is a fluid present in the glomerular capillary then it will push the fluid away that is towards the bowman space so plasma hydrostatic pressure the hydrostatic pressure is a positive pressure it pushes the fluid away okay whereas the plasma oncotic pressure is a resistive force this is a resistive force and it resists the movements of fluid that means it doesn't allow the movement of fluid away from the content or the tubule and same goes with the hydrostatic uh, plasma oncotic pressure of the glomerular capillaries is it clear now let us just calculate the net filtration pressure we all know that the fluid moves from the glomerular capillaries we all know that the fluid moves from the glomerular capillaries into the bowman space correct now since the fluid moves from the glomerular capillaries into the bowman space the pressure that is in the glomerular capillaries or the positive pressure which pushes the fluid towards the bowman space is high correct now since the glomerular capillary has two kinds of pressure that is the plasma oncotic pressure and the plasma hydrostatic pressure the hydrostatic pressure pushes the fluid towards right and the oncotic pressure of the bowman's capsule the oncotic pressure of the bowman's capsule supports and promotes the hydrostatic pressure of the glomerular capillaries we add them since these are the positive pressure and pushes the fluid in the bowman's capsule correct whereas the hydrostatic pressure of the bowman space and the oncotic pressure of the peritubular capillaries are negative forces that means it doesn't allow the fluid to move in the bowman space correct because the oncotic pressure resists the movement whereas the hydrostatic pressure won't allow going the fluid away and hence it is subtracted from the pressure which is positive hence it is subtracted is it clear then this is the net filtration pressure going back to the glomerular filtration rate creatinine uh, clearance of the inulin or clearance of the creatinine is equal to the gfr which is al also calculated by the difference in the pressure okay so when you rearrange the equation you get the net filtration pressure as this and it is multiplied multiplied by the filtration coefficient this is a theoretical equation and is not practically used much but the clearance equation of inulin and creatinine more of creatinine is used for measurement of the glomerular filtration rate so please remember this that the creatinine clearance is one of the high yield topics of the measurement of glomerular filtration rate thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed the video please click on the like button and do subscribe to this channel let me know in the comment section below which topics do you want me to explain thank you